Make me happy. Ah, it's okay. I'm live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's Friday giveaway show. You guys, today we're going to do a giveaway. It's going to be a good one. It's a special day today because it's Yaro's birthday today. Yay! Happy birthday, Yaro. So, you guys, on today's show, I'm going to finish up. Well, it's a replay for people who are watching the replay. Um, on today's show, I'm going to drill a hole in the shell. A lot of people asked me for this after I posted this. So if you watch yesterday's show, I polished this green mussel shell. And it came out so good. Everyone's like, what are you going to do with it? So we're like, let's make a necklace out of it. So everyone kept asking me if I would... We even clean the inside that I didn't show. Um, everyone keeps asking me, uh, can you drill a hole? Can you drill a hole? Can you drill a hole? The answer is, I believe I can drill a hole and we'll try it. So I'm hoping to make like a cute little pendant. You know what I mean? So I'm going to be doing that more great, Janie. So, uh, so that's what I'm going to do on today's show. And I'll show you if, you know, if you have something delicate, how to, how to drill it, and so all that good stuff. So we're going to do that. So let me first say hello to everybody and make some announcements. And if you're watching this on the replay, now is a good time to either listen to me say hi to everybody, or you can fast forward straight to the good stuff where I'm going to start drilling this. So um, who is here today? You know you guys have just trickled on in. And you know what today is, you guys? You know what today is. Uh-huh. Today is Friday giveaway. And not only is it Friday giveaway, it's Yaro's birthday day. Birthday, happy birthday to Yaro. So today is Yaro's birthday. And because in lieu of Yaro's birthday, we are going to give two prizes away today. That's right. I said two. Un, de de. That's two in French. Yaro speaks French, so I thought I would do it. Merci beaucoup, he says. Um, yes. So two uh, prizes today. And do you want to know what the prizes are? They're good prizes, you guys. You know, Ani always brings you the good stuff. So today's giveaway is not one. $25 gift card, but two people get a chance to win a $25 gift card at jewelsool.com. Woo! $25, two $25. I know one's smaller. Who cares? Uh, oh, Margaret Chandel said, Bon anniversary, Yaro. Did I say it right? I try. I try. Yaro's typing. He's, he'll say it better. Uh, ooh, Jennifer Chute says, uh, it's magnifique bon anniversary. Oh, you guys are so good with the French. I sound like an American. Happy birthday, Yaro. <laughs> but uh, it's cute. So, yes. Yeah, so, to enter a chance to win a $25 gift card for JewelTool.com, the only thing you need to do is comment, hashtag, I love my Jewel Tool. Um, and Yara will put your name in the drawing and we'll do a drawing. I just really ask that you be, that's going to be a short show. So I really recommend and I ask that you guys stay um, to see if you want or not. So, uh, yep. So everybody is here. Hello. You guys are so cute. Let me quickly say hello to everybody. We've got Nagora. Hello, Nagora. Glad to see you and happy birthday. Glad to see you too. Hello, Aloha, Paula Rubin. Hello, Terry. Hello, Jennifer and Nancy and Karen and Diana Schnetzka and Teresa and Deb, uh, Deb Henretti and Crystal George. Hello. And Carol uh, and Paula McDowell. Uh, Robin Polizzi, hello, hello, Aaron, too. Hello, hello. And we have Margaret, I already said. Uh, Robin Baskin, hello, hello, Irene. And we have a Anna Marie. And what else do we have? We have Carol, uh, Karen, Kathy Hogg, uh, Ellie Grossman. Well, you guys are trickling on in faster than I can even say hi. Hi, Linda, Linda, Linda. Hello, Suni and Sandra Jeffs. 
and we've got who else do we have i think i got everybody oh uh janine adair liz lyles janine adair lyles welcome and welcome uh anna and d marie hello and vicky hart vicky now we need to take a little moment to to hi cindy hi cindy lee um uh, vicky hart posted some stones that she worked on the jewel tool in our jewel tool community facebook page wow vicky like you guys so vicky hasn't been using her jewel tool for very long but you guys it's so worthy to take a look if you're not a member of our jewel tool community request and i'll accept you but i just need to show it i just need to show it you guys because if you missed it because i miss things but i try not to but vicky made these most beautiful stones however it's not loading oh why god I don't know. I can't load. I have no internet. Why, what happened to our internet, Yaro? Can you try to find that post? Anyways, we'll find it. Hopefully it'll load. But I just want to say, Vicky, those were some beautiful stones that you shaped and polished on your jewel tool. Like, wow. I, like, I was impressed. Like, I don't know. Uh, to be honest with you, Vicky, they are so good. I don't know if I could have done that. It's really good. Like, wow. Uh, everyone's saying happy birthday to you, Yara. But Yara can see all the comments. So whatever you guys say, he sees, he knows, all of that stuff. Uh, Yara's also replying back. Okay. So you guys, so remember, if you guys just tuned in, two giveaways today. $25 gift certificate. So two lucky winners I will pull at the end. And today, I'm just going to drill. So it's going to be a quickie. I'm going to drill the shell and make a pendant out of it because I posted this and everyone, everyone kept asking me, are you going to make a necklace out of it? Can you show us how to drill a hole? And I was like, sure. Came out so pretty. I've got so many interests on this little green muscle shell. You have no idea. Crazy. Hi, hi, Tina Mueller. Hello. Teeny, teeny. Sorry. I can't see very well. Uh, so let's go ahead and start drilling. So I'm going to drill this with our, our 30 piece, uh, set of diamond drilling birds. So I'm going to use, I think I might use, I don't know, either the, the smallest or the medium. So what they do is they come in 10, they, there's 30 of them. So you get 10 of each different size. So there's three different sizes. So I believe it's three millimeter, two and a half millimeter, and two millimeter are the sizes for the diamond drill bits. And you know, you guys, I have these custom made. I do. I have them so that they're all balls and they're a high quality of a uh, diamond that is electroplated onto the tip. Um, it, I, I have a certain quality that I expect from my manufacturer and they follow. And I, I just want you guys to know, even though they're affordably priced, don't think they're not good quality. They are, you guys. I just bring you guys good stuff. I source it. I ask for my specific my specifications, and I have a custom kit made exclusively for you guys. So yeah, this you know. Um, so let's get started now. When you're working with shells, like I said yesterday, proper face protection from breathing in any kind of harmful toxins that a shell could contain are needed okay so just like you saw yesterday i wore a mask i used the jewel tool vacuum i even used the jewel tool visor at times um and i would i was safe I, I i just want you guys to remember to i know you guys do but just use common sense when grinding these things if you smell things then that's not good so just protect yourself and that's all we're going to do there's also something really cool i forgot to share with you guys that i used to use a lot when i was at trade shows and i couldn't really take a vacuum with me and i'm all day long on the jewel tool and i can't wear a mask because i'm talking 
So the mask hinders, you know what I mean? So I used to use, and I still sometimes use them. Um, I use these no, uh, nose filters. Um, they actually have a 3M filter in it. And I would just take them and shove them up my nose. Look. Hi, Kathy Cook. Kathy, today we have a giveaway to, we have a giveaway, two chances to win. A $25 Jewel Tool gift card. Does my nose look different now? Like a little flared? Yeah, so we, we worked on this yesterday. So, Teeny, if you missed it, Yaro, can you show a zoom? You guys see? So we polished this. And if you want to see, like, the before and after, you can watch yesterday's show or just go to, like, Facebook. I posted it or Instagram. But yeah, we even polished the inside. Look at that. It was not as pretty as this is. This is not as pretty as it was, but we made it gorgeous. So I'm going to make a necklace. I'm going to show how to wear it. You know, I only have one, so no earrings. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I am going to use... Um, which drill bit should I use? Uh, the flex shaft is how uh, is hooked to the vertical. Let me actually take this off. I'm gonna make. Okay, I'm gonna stay right here, Yaro. Is that good? Okay, so I'm probably gonna grab the the smallest drill bit. You guys see that right here? I don't need a really large hole. I hope I don't. But you can always make the hole bigger. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna put that on the jewel tool flex shaft. You see that? And I'm just going to use a pinch bail when I'm done. You guys see that? Just a little pinch bail. So let's get started. So I have my jewel tool here hooked up to a vacuum. Do you guys see the vacuum right there? So this is great for, you know, if you're drilling, you can always have the shroud of your jewel tool around to absorb any kind of fumes, you know what I mean? Or any kind of dust. So let's get started. Now you can also you can also do this with water. So if you want to keep like the dust to a minimum, you can add some water, you know, so hold on. Here. I have some water from yesterday's show. You guys, my dirty water from yesterday's show or no, this isn't from yesterday's show. This is from 2 days ago show. Dear lord. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm not going to submerge it because I need you guys to see what I'm doing. So I'll just put water since it's very like there's like a little cup action going on here. Do you guys see that? I just put water in here. There's actually water in here. You guys see that? Oh, before I do that, let me mark. Where am I drilling a hole? Got to make sure it's centered. Let's go ahead and mark it. I don't know where I'm marking. I think that's a good place to start. So it's important you guys to mark it and to see if it's going to sit right. Maybe a little bit off to the side. There you go. So I just marked it really quick. You guys see that? Maybe a little bit to the right I'll do it. But my pen doesn't want to work in the water, so that's fine. So let me go ahead and put the water back in. So the water will be just, oh, and this there's water now in it. You guys see there's like water in there? There you go. So as I drill, there'll be water and I have the vacuum on. I do have a mask, but I don't think it's necessary. I think it's a little overkill at the moment. Nothing's really, you know, coming at me. There you go. So let's go ahead and turn the jewel tool on at full speed. I have the vacuum on. And so let's start grinding this. I, I kind of want to hold it like this. Yaro, can you know my hand's blocking it? What's a good uh, direction? Here? Okay. Hold on. Right here? Okay. It's okay. I'll do it right here. Is that good? So listen, when you start to drill, you guys, just a light little touch. Don't push, especially when it's something like this that is this fragile. 
don't push. Let the wheel, I mean, let the diamond do all the work. You never want to push at all. It's lovely, you guys. So we're just holding it there, waiting for it. I'm not pushing. Now, if I pushed, sure, it would get there a little faster. But remember, it is a fragile uh, shell. So I'm just holding it there. It's working, you guys. There's a hole happening. But it's a hard, it's a hard shell, I'll tell you that much. We've got the diamond bits going on. So it might be thin, but it's hard. I told you guys sometimes. Is that all the way through? Oh, you are all the way through. Okay, there we go. Do you guys see that? Yay! Yep, we did it. Let me turn the vacuum off. Okay, hold on. Let me dump the water out. You guys see the hole? There's the hole. There it is. There's the hole. I just hope it's centered. Looks pretty good. We'll see. What? Yeah, hopefully I did it. Oh, it's going to be good. Yeah. So I'm just using a little pinch bale right now. And Oh, it's actually really cute. Can you see that? Where am I? It's, uh, I actually wanted it more on the right, you guys, because uh, if you guys know, it's going to sit more like hugging me here because of the back. So, yeah, center of gravity. So I actually moved the hole when I was drilling it a little bit to the right because I felt as though it was going to hang that way. So I'm very happy with how it turned out. Yeah, so just on something that has a weird shape that's not going to be perfect. So be mindful of how it's going to like lay on you. So I chose to do it a little bit more to the right to kind of offset it a little. Um, I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but we'll find out soon. So let me go ahead and put a chain through it. What chain do I have? I have lots. Oh, there goes something. This is not the most prettiest chain, but I'll just use it for now. Let's see what this looks like. So, yeah, we did a hole. Look at that, you guys. Yeah, see, when it sits, it's going to sit. I, I wanted it. I didn't want it to be too perfect. I wanted a little offset, so I actually changed it. Did I do a good thing? We don't know. We'll find out. So, I don't know where to put this. Should I put it up higher? Should I put it low? You can wear it, like, low. What should I do, Yarrow? What do you guys think? Yesterday, yesterday, très joli, Margaret. There you go. Oh, see how it laid? That's exactly what I wanted. That is exactly what I wanted. Take a look, you guys. This is exactly what I wanted. But I, I don't know if I, I think I would want it a little taller. Combined with all my little jiggaluglugluglugs. Hold on, let's try this. Let me get rid of this. So it looks cute, guys. I love it. So going to sport this. I was so surprised at how many people actually, like, worked on green mussels. Let me take my little nose things out. I don't think I need those now. Honestly, it was a little overkill, but I thought I'd say it. Yes, Kristen, it's for you. It's for Kristen. <laughs> Needs to be a little shorter or a little longer. Right, Kat? I agree. Let's do shorter because I can pull that off right now. So let me go ahead and use... You know what? Whatever floats your boat. Whatever length suits you. Everyone has, like, different lengths that they're used to. I think this one would be cuter, shorter. Hold on. Oh my God. Polishing the stone, like the, the shell was easier than removing these off of the thing. Yarrow, can you help? My nails don't want to cooperate. Help, help a sister. Whatever. I give up. I'll just grab one. I think I have one in here. Oh, no, there's a chain on it. 
Okay, Yaro. Yaro's like, Chip, take it up. Okay, let's try this one. Oh my god, this was... Ugh. No, it's fine. Let's see, you guys. This is going to be shorter. And maybe I'll remove the one off of my neck. Yaro, you want to take the one off my neck? Keep it together. You like all the, the mix? I like to layer my necklaces. I do. Not going to lie. I really do. What am I doing? Huh? Oh. <laughs> well, isn't that smart of me? I meant to do that. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. Sorry, guys. Apologize. No one's here to help me. They all just, like, love, enjoy the entertainment. These nails, I tell you, they're cute, but this is my journey. Hold on. Let me put this. So you like all this junk monk? Okay. Well, just like leave it. Okay. Can you do, give me a pullback? A little too close. Hold on. I got to bring my boobs down. Cole. What is uh, your mom saying? Oh, I don't have the pearls. No pearls here today. Hey, that looks good. Now do a pullback, Yara. We don't have to be that close. Goodness, Yaro. Hey, it's cute. I know. <laughs> However, I think I am going to take this off. What do you guys think? Never take jewelry off your neck unless you're prepared not to see it again, lol. Right? Yeah. You know, oh, someone actually gave me a cute tip. You know how you go to the restroom and you take your, like, some, you know, some people take their jewelry off because you don't want the soap to get on your jewelry. Like, so a lot of people, and I've had stories like this a lot as in the jewelry world, a lot of women would take their ring off and set it down and forget it in, like, a hotel restroom or the restaurant's restroom and they realize later that they don't have their ring anymore and so one i'll never forget it was on valentine's day and as an older couple they were so adorable so when we were in the restroom she says you know what i like to do i like to take my ring and hold it here and when she's done she'll put it back on i thought that was a cute little uh little note however let me fix my neck Oh, I'm all crooked. It keeps wanting to go down my boobs. Let's talk straight. Um, apparently, it's pretty big. Carol said, put it in the mouth. Yep, how funny, Carol. Yeah, so you guys get the idea, right? Kristen wants this. Kristen, this is going to be your gift. She doesn't know it yet. It's cute, huh? <laughs> Nancy says, take it off. Jennifer says, I would eat it. Jennifer, I love you. Hold on. Okay, I'm taking this off. It's got, driving me nuts. Driving me nuts. Okay, here we go. This is more my jam. You see that? So, something that we... Something that was not planned yesterday, and we said, let's see what will happen if we polish this nasty muscle, green muscle shell. And before we, much better, right, Kathy? I know, it's driving me nuts, too. You know, sometimes you just have to not listen to people and just do your own thing, you know? I, I, I didn't feel it. I should have listened to my gut, but I was listening to others. So, you guys, note to self, oh, it's not hooked. That's why I keep slipping. Note to self, if something doesn't feel right, listen to that small little voice inside. You know what I mean? Don't listen to what others are telling you. You know, or you post something on a group and everyone's like, uh, no, I like the left side better. I like, no, but you ultimately, you know, you know what looks good. You know what it's supposed to be like. You feel it. So, it's nice to hear other people's, um, you know, feedback because it almost gives you confirmation how you feel. So I felt like taking that other necklace off and everyone could say, no, leave it. But 
when I heard you guys say it, that was the confirmation I needed. So if you ask for advice and stuff, sometimes wait for a confirmation to see if what you initially felt was, you know, you uh, was right, the right thing. Does that make sense? Okay, there. Yeah, so it's cute, huh? It gives you a very, like, I feel very, um, like, I'm very, like, like, I feel like this would be something, like, cool to wear. Like, on trend. Like, I'm wearing something cool. So, people, like, stop and look. Yeah, and I made it myself. People were so impressed. Wait till you guys see. I haven't even posted it to TikTok. wonder what's going to happen on TikTok, Kristen. So, you know what I'll do? I'll post it as a finished piece on TikTok because, you know, TikTok community needs everything explained to them. <laughs> Kristen, this is the new trend. Do you know how many people make shell jewelry? It's a thing. Um, okay, let me read. Let me chit chat with y'all. Hi, Tom. Hi, Don. Hello, Nancy Day. Looks sassy. Right, Kathy? It does look a little sassy. I feel very like, I don't know if this shell had some energy. Maybe this muscle had some energy that it came to me. Where I got this muscle, muscle shell, I don't know. Vaughn, did you give me this muscle shell? Who gave me this muscle shell? Was it your mom? We don't know. Your gut rarely ste steers you wrong. Absolutely, Margaret. Hi, Carrie Hendricks. So, you guys, Carrie, you're tuning in. Albert, you're turning in. Oh, what's my TikTok channel called? Ani Jewel Tool. Yeah, my TikTok is Ani Jewel Tool. And my very first TikTok, like the real... Like, it's not like I uploaded a video. Like, a real TikTok that Kristen and I filmed here with the TikTok template is almost at, get ready, you guys. You have no idea how many views it hit. And we were on, like, it went viral. We were on, like, the Discover page where everyone could see it. To the, yeah, that's my, uh, that, I think it's a space. I think it's a space. So, anyways, that post hit almost 95,000 views to the point where the day that it was going, the day that it went viral, uh, my son's girlfriend came over to my house and goes, your feet came up in the discovery. Like I saw your video and I was like, how cool. So like everyone saw that video. So it's pretty cool. So when you really catch, when you catch like TikTok is interesting. If you caught something that spoke to their people or their algorithm, you get into like a different kind of realm and you get on their discovery page. And that's how videos go viral. Everyone, they start exposing you to everyone. So everyone starts seeing you. Until this day, I still get comments. I still get more views. It's just weird. Um, so yeah, eating mussels in Paris years ago, if I only had kept the shell teeny, right? Yeah, it's really, listen, cost, zero. Effort, fun. Honestly, we had so much fun doing this. Really, we had so much. My design theme is water. Oh, Sandra, do tell. So I use pearls. Oh, how funny. My mother-in-law said to wear pearls with this. I just don't know where my pearls are. Um, so she uses pearls. And it's moving <laughs> shells a lot. Thank you. Haven't used this kind of shell yet. Can't wait to do it. Sandra, yesterday's video, honest to God, I didn't know how thin the, the, the layer of green was. Um, but I eared on the side of caution. So all I used to polish this was the felt wheel with my jewel tool compound and the edges were really, really rough. And I just used the 80 grit purple ceramic to smooth the edges. Um, and we used the scratch eraser on the edges too. I didn't show that in my video because it's a lot. It's hard to edit those things. And so today you guys, hi Glenda. Glenda's ready. I love my jewel tool. So we're going to, Yara's putting the names down. We're going to do the drawing. So not one chance to win but two chances to win a 25 dollar jewel tool gift card yay and it's cool it gets emailed straight to you you can use the code for anything you want and i see it you guys just 
Use it so quick. Use it. Uh, and Roseanne says, okay, when I went to Facebook. Oh, uh, ah, I see you now, Roseanne. I see you. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Nice. Mm -hmm. I, I love, um, you know what I noticed? A lot of people on my Instagram were commenting on the video. A lot of the people commenting did have like ocean themed jewelry. And I was surprised to find out so many jewel tool users and look at their website and what they're making. I was like, wow. And you know, it's funny. If I had seen a lot of their work and they didn't tell me they actually had a jewel tool, I would say to myself, wow, these pieces are professionally finished. Wow. Kudos to them. Lo and behold, they have a jewel tool. So you want your pieces to look professionally finished and get it done easily. Easily and fast is the key and operative word here. The jewel tool is um, your friend. And, you know, that's why people say, I love my jewel tool, because it helps you. You don't love something that doesn't help you. You love something that gives you something. You know what I mean? So the shell would look great with smaller ammonites. Ooh, yeah. I'm telling you guys, it could be so much. I even thought about putting it on a necklace like this with the beads. Ooh, why don't I try that? Oh, but I don't know if I can get it on here. Yeah. Robin Baskin is so sweet. What did you say, Robin? So sweet. Robin's, Robin is an Instagrammer. Let me tell you. She's active on Instagram. I, oh, oh, Robin, really? I met you and Yarrow three years ago at MGSA in New York. That is the manufacturing jewelry show that happens in New York. I was so intimidated because you are so beautiful and glamorous, lol. But both of you were so nice and genuine. Oh, my God. You know, Robin, did we take a picture together? I recently saw some pictures from MJSA. But that is so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, God, you're so sweet, Robin. Thank you. We really, true. we are who you are. Wh whoever you, see, what you see, you guys, is what you get. Um and a lot of you guys that have met me, you guys know that. Well, wow, she's the same crazy person that you see on TV <laughs> when you meet her. So I'm definitely not that person that, um, you know, when you, like, I know when I've met celebrities, I've always like, oh, they're going to be this. And I'm always let down. So when people meet me, it's so funny. I'll be at a show and I'll be working and I hear like women talking in the background and they're like, She's just like how she is on TV. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know any other way to be. It is me. <laughs> Sorry in advance. <laughs> you, you guys, if anything, I'm your fan. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing on every level. Amazing from your heart, your giving, your hilarious nature, your kindness, and just your overall uh, friendliness. I, I'm, a, I'm fangirling you guys all the time. I really do. And not only to not only that, but your designs, your fearless approach to things um, are just inspiring to even me. So you guys rock truly. And honestly, I mean this from the bottom of my heart, you guys are fabulous glamorous uh, i love you all so they're putting the names together and oh i did put that up so i can read that so robin apparently when i met you you were with a friend and i fixed a broken stone that was in your bracelet oh in your bracelet wow well I do that at trade shows. <laughs> I do that a lot. Yeah, that day we we did so many things that day in, uh, in uh, New York. That was a fun time. Um, your Yaro's putting all the names down. Um, so chit chat with me while this happens. So, but this would have been cute. Maybe I can just like add this to it. You know what I mean, Yaro? Kind of like kind of give it a background look. Kind of like a layered dish look. If I could hook it, 
Apparently, I'm not a good hooker today. What? I'm not a hooker? No. <laughs> Hi, Paris. Hi, Paris. Welcome to the show. Oh, that looks cute. Oh, you guys, look at this. Here, a model. These are my model shots, you guys. Like, I look in the camera and I'm like, Paris earlier asked for uh, a question. Hi, Paris. Paris is going to be a new Jewel Tool user soon. We're excited. She got her Jewel Tool. She got everything. Paris, what did you ask? Oh, Paris asked something earlier. I would like to see how. Oh, Paris, let me tell you. I have gone over every single kit. I We did a live show every single day last year and i went over every single one so there is a video for every kit that i can tell you no problem so we have like if you're going to look at a lapidary you're going to look at all the lapidary videos and that'll tell you how the lapidary kits work if you want to see anything like glass enamel just look at all the glass and enamel videos. And then I go through the whole kit. Now, if you want to see any kind of metal polishing, now metal polishing is tricky. There's so many different issues, you know, curved areas, sharp corners, this, whatever. I address them in all my metal polishing videos. So any metal polishing video you watch is still is going to give you some helpful information on how those products perform and tell you how to do them because I teach you. So it's all free teachings. I don't have you guys pay for anything. They're all available and they're all in our, if you go to Jewel Tool USA on YouTube, you can go to our playlist section and all of the videos are categorized to help you find them. And I even have a YouTube video on how to find the YouTube video. Yes, yeah, so Diana Mosley says, I use the playlist on YouTube all the time. Yes, our playlist channel, it took a long time to put that playlist channel together. Trust and believe. I spent many nights awake adding videos to each folder because it's like basically you're putting them in folders. So just look at the playlist section and choose the videos on the folders that speak to you. And Paris, this is one tool i i'm telling you that has a lot of information and support on how to use it honestly i don't mean to toot my own horn but coming from the tool world i give excessive amount of information like to the detail and people don't even realize like let me like do you have a, a user guide i have more i spend money in time and putting things together out for the after sales for example like instead of spending money to lure customers in you know what i mean to buy a jewel tool i spend the money on supporting your use of the jewel tool after you buy it i know some people would say that's a smart business well you know what i care for my customers so okay so like, if, for example, the user guide, and they're almost done with the name. So hang on, guys. Hi, Heidi. You're Heidi and Nicole. Hi. You guys, I, pull, I, I drilled the hole in uh, the, what do you call? In the, the shell, whatever this is. Yeah. Do you guys like? Ooh, la, la. Um, next, I love my Jolto use of kit. Thank you, Margaret. Margaret says, Jolto support is second to none. Your lives were so helpful. I know. And Heidi, Heidi, remember we met in Tucson last year and Heidi only had a jewel tool. Literally, Heidi, you got a jewel tool. And then we went into the pandemic and I started doing videos and it really helped. It looks good, huh? Thank you. She says, gorgeous, 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 baby. Hi, Ken's. So you guys, so this is the user guide. It's like a magazine. Honestly, the quality of the paper is thick. I pay a chunk of change and it took lots of time and lots of money to put all this information together so these are things that you don't even see so here look let's say you need to learn how to do metal polishing just the metal polishing kit and you know paris this is the kit that you bought this would be your scenario 
to shape and grind from top to bottom, shaping and grinding, you know, pull it back out, Yara, a little bit. So it is the description. Yeah. So like right here, you can shape and grind a piece and you use your purple ceramic. To smooth all that rough, you use your, remove the scratches and pre-polish with the scratch eraser. Then you polish with the felt disc with the compound for precise polishes, blah, blah, blah. There's the buff and the green brush. We explain all of that. And then if you want to get into even more detail, you guys, we have every kit. These are the sharpening steps. You guys, you know this. We went through all this, the sharpening. Yes, and there's what? Yeah, there's a whole, it shows you how to use the tool rest. Yeah, and then we have the soft lapidary. The instructions here, we have the hard and soft stone lapidary with the instructions all here one by one uh-huh so i'm just saying my felt flies off why does your felt fly? there's a polymer clay section real quick polymer clay two different polymer clays this one and that one for the round and the domed and then we have the enamel and glass i'm just saying that you get a lot Oh, of information with the jewel tool. So, so the felt, I don't understand what you mean by my felt is flying off. That guide is a must. Thank you, Suni. That guide really helps. Thanks, Dawn. It does. It's really great to have. My felt flies off. So if your felt is flying off here, you guys, this is what I do here. Almost done with that. So here's a good little tip. If your felt is flying off, what she means is after a while, we're talking years down the line. Okay, so this is a felt. Or if it was stored improperly. Now, usually when you, you got an overhead shot of me? Oh, you hold on. There. So usually when your jewel tool works fine, you just would just twist it like that and it's on. You guys see that? Shaking it off. So if it is not clinging on to the spindle. Let me know if that's the issue and I'll show you how to remedy that. Anyone? Just double checking. Oh, your necklace looks so pretty. Maybe putting too much pressure on it. I don't know. Hi, Bonnie. Hey, girl. Ooh, I need one of those guides. Is it online? Gil, it came with your jewel tool. And yes, it's online. When I bought my jewel tool, Something came with it, but I think I lost it during the book. Okay, no worries. So, Gail, it it is downloadable, and you can print it right. Yaro's going to post the link right now. It's in our help section. Help or support. Kristen, this necklace is for you. This is so your style. She's not listening to me. She's got earphones on. Yes, it's not clinging to the spindle. Gotcha, Robin. Very simple fix. You're going to need a metal hand file. It could be any file. It could be a large metal hand file. It could be one of the small hand files. But you need a metal file. And now this is a jeweler's tip I'm sharing with you all. Jewelers will not like me teaching this, but this is. So what happens after years, the metal wears down, gets a little soft on the edges. The disc, however, does not wear down. This does not create any kind of threads, so the threads will not ever strip. So the problem lies on your metal spindle. So through the years, after a while, a metal spindle wears down, metal wears down. So what we're gonna do is, you're gonna sharpen the threads, and this is how you do it. Let me find a file. Now remember, you guys, they cleaned up around here, so mama needs to find a file. What, what happened, Yaro? You're talking like, oh, here we go. So I have a file. I don't even have it on the handle. Oh, just let me show them. So I just have a metal hand jeweler's file. Now, if you have the really skinny ones, that'll work too. Just depends on the objective is. Oh, so the file is just. I don't even have a handle on it, but this is all. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the edge of this file and I'm going to put it 
I'm going to put it at the tip of the spindle. Do you guys see that with my index finger pushing? You guys see that? So now what we want to do is I want to almost pull this towards me as it's spinning. You guys see that? So you kind of start off over here and you're going to pull it towards you because what you want to do is you want to create a burr on the edge of the spindle and sharpen it. So you're going to turn your jewel tool on like slow speed. One little uh, click. That's it. One click. Do you guys see how slow that is? And so I actually have it uh, sitting on one of the threads and I turn it on and I want to pull it towards myself. Do you guys see that? And I... Yeah, so I'm putting pressure downward. And you can see there's a little metal that came, you know, on it. But the whole objective is it should feel a little sharp. And to test it, if it worked, put your wheel on and it should grab it immediately. Okay? And if it doesn't grab it immediately, do it one more time. Here, and we'll do it again. So, but the whole idea is, you it's like almost a tug of war. Yara, show my body. Show my full body. Okay, so I'm ba I'm basically pulling towards me. Do you know what I mean? So it's like a tug of war towards and pushing down. So pull towards you and press down. The whole idea is to scrape each thread. And so I'll do it again while you can see me do it. You're sharpening. And it does it really quick. And that's it. Yeah, so Robin... I know a thousand gazillion percent that this is going to solve your problem. Yep. Uh, try it. And um, I was going to say, let me know how it goes, but I don't need to know because it'll work. Um, oh, that's cool. So I have this video on YouTube, just so you know. Uh, I can't find this on Facebook. Okay, so uh, Heidi said something. Yara, something you posted didn't go. Okay, so let me read Heidi. Heidi said something. Hi, Heidi. Heidi says, last year was a fabulous learning experience. I bought my jewel tool. Oh, I bought my jewel tool to polish. I was looking, yeah, I remember this, Heidi. I was looking for a small buffing with a uh, wheel system. Met Ani and bought the jewel tool. It's so true. I remember it vividly. I had no idea what a fabulous miracle machine I had until the COVID lives last year, right? Oh my God, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about this, Heidi. Seriously. We, we were such an amazing, you were such an amazing help. Love you all. Thank you, Heidi. It was, um, it was very special time, I would say. I got to know you guys personally and I still get to know you guys. So, um, I, I'm here for the long haul. So if you're sick of seeing me, sorry, you're going to continue seeing me because I'm not going anywhere. Mary Bartels, no worries. Mary, Mary, today's a good day. $25, two chances to win $25, uh, gift certificate for the winner to celebrate Yaro's birthday day. Today's Yaro's birthday. It's your birthday. It's going to party. Like it's your birthday with your shells on your neck. We're going to, oh, this look, I love this little necklace with it. Kristen, look, I added this. Yes, you know you want it. Yeah, Kristen, you know you're going to, um, Kristen's going to wear this tonight. I, love it. I swear, I'm going to wear this out. <laughs> no, you didn't miss anything, Bobby. Bobby, hashtag I love my jewel tool and Yara will add you because I'm going to do the raffle. Two chances to win, $25 gift certificate. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mind blown. Happy birthday, Yaro. Happy birthday to Yaro. Okay, Yaro saying last last call because he's putting it all together. And I'm hungry. They got Chick Fil A, and I'm staring at the food. So, help us, this they're out. I know. Hi, Michelle. Kristen. I know I'm going to eat these. Yes. Kristen says it's my fault. I should have eaten, but I chose to go on live with you. You see where my heart lies, you guys. I don't just talk the talk. I walk the walk people. I really do. Hmm. Their honey roasted barbecue sauce. What are you guys talking about? Oh, yes, Michelle. P 
pistachio colored pearls. Oh, girlfriend, you have no idea. So good. That would have been beautiful to pair it with this. And then Nicole, now Nicole goes, hmm, they're honey roasted. What is a barbecue sauce? Where did that come from? Hi, Bertha. Keep missing the start of Ani and YouTube when do you go live? So Bertha, I recommend that you um, click on a notification button on our Jewel Tool business page. And you'll get the notification when I go live on Facebook, on YouTube too. Facebook and YouTube, put a notification on. Yes, so for YouTube, subscribe to my channel, Jewel Tool USA, and then click on the bell, the notification, so that when I'm live, you'll get notified. And then Facebook is the same. Go click, go on the Jewel Tool business page and click. It's called Jewel Tool Official. There you go. Yeah, right here, right here, right here. Jewel Tool Official. And I go live on that and you'll get a notification. Like I have a notification set and it told me I went live today. And I also posted on Instagram that I'm going live. So there's a lot of places to find me, Bertha. So like, for example, right before I went live, I, I, I actually posted that it's Yara's birthday and that I'm going live. So I did do a post and then... Oh, I don't know about that, Kristen. See, going live. Oh, and a lot of people, this is another thing. If you don't like, like, like the button, the Jewel Tool official page, you won't get notified. So, I mean, go to Jewel Tool official on Facebook. Click the like button, and I promise you, even with the like button, you'll get a notification. What, what, Kristen? Like, for example, Heidi, you have not liked uh, Jewel Tool. <laughs> I know, I'm messing with Heidi. Let me miss with Heidi. Heidi, Kristen just invited you. So if you guys, oh, she invited you months ago, Heidi. I'm very sad. <laughs> Heidi knows I'm joking. Relax, people. We chit chat. Great, thanks. We'll do that on YouTube. Uh, don't do Facebook. Fine, Bertha. A lot of people don't do Facebook, but on YouTube, you'll get that notification. So I get both notifications. So different from the Jewel Tool community page. Yes, it's different than the Jewel Tool community page. This is our main Jewel Tool official business page. So type in Jewel Tool official. That's the one you need to like. I know. I have a lot of people. Oh, so we've gained so many members in our Jewel Tool community, you guys. And I just want to say a lot of people do not have a Jewel Tool in our Jewel Tool community group. But they're beautiful people. They all say when you have to answer the question, do you own a Jewel Tool? They always say, no, but planning on it one day. That's what we get all the time. So just know that there's a lot of people who don't have a Jewel Tool in Jewel Tool community and are looking at all your posts. I know, right, Heidi? What? I'm with you. Go and like my page. Uh, FB business page. So that's the only way Kristen is saying to get notifications on Facebook. You have to like the Jewel Tool this page, Jewel Tool Official, Jewel Tool Official on Facebook. There. Okay. Are we done? What else is going on? Yara took the screen away. I can't see what you guys are saying. I feel like I'm alone out here. Help me. Where is everybody? <laughs> I do. Without the comments, I feel lost. <gasps> there they are. There's my people. There they are. Uh, that's me. We'll be getting a jewel tool. Diane Molly. Oh, Diane Molly. Yes, I love you. Yes, you did write that. Um, Don, uh, Don, uh, Don says, I was one of those a few months ago. Now I can say it officially. I love my jewel tool. You guys are truly amazing. You have no idea how much you guys mean to me. You really don't. Uh, look at Mary. Mary's like goes in for the thing. When will you get your stone cutter? Okay, listen, you guys. Stone cutter is in the works. Okay. We're just, we have to wait for a little bit. However, our graver sharpener will be 
I'll do pre-orders on the Graver Sharpener fairly soon. Uh, that I could tell you. Shut the front door, Bonnie. No way. Bonnie, I'll send you an invitation. So Bonnie just gave us a public service announcement. Clubhouse is now open to Android users. Bonnie, I'm going to send you an invite. We should do like a we should do like a clubhouse. I'll start a group, you guys. Just tell me what time works for you guys. Let's start a group and chit chat with everybody. Let me go to Bonnie. Bonnie, where are you? Bon Bonnie, go ahead. How do I find you, Bonnie? I don't know. How do I do this? Kristen, it wants to sync my contacts. If you're not in my contacts, I can't find you. Because I have nothing better to do. What else am I going to do? Aw, Vicky, you're so cute. Vicky, I love you. Vicky says, I pretend I'm Ani. I, I go through all her sayings. No pushy pushy, etc. It works for real. It does. Me too. I'm an android. Okay, great. I got on Clubhouse uh, just for you, Ani. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay, David, hold on. One second. Okay, Yaro, there's a, there's a special message that came in. We everyone stop. Aaron, you're so cute. So you know, you guys, I gave up and deleted it. No, no, don't delete it, Jennifer. I have seven invitations. I'll invite you. Come back. <laughs> um, it will put anything and everything in your phone. Okay, so listen, you guys. Yara's adding some more people. I, I, I just talked to David and we just talked about no pushy pushy. Okay. What I was going to say you guys on the heels of what Vicky said about having uh, like on these sayings. So you guys years ago when I was at JCK, um, this one gentleman comes up to me and he goes, Oh my God, I can't believe I'm meeting you. And I said, Oh, nice to meet you. You know? And he goes, I just want you to know, I work in a jewelry fact, like a manufacturing, they make really nice jewelry. And he says that we have the jewel tool. And every time we get stuck with something, we ask ourselves, what would Ani do? And Till this day, I find that to be so cute. Um, and I actually just reposted that. A uh, uh, memory came up and I posted it to my Instagram. So I thought that was so nice. Um, yeah, so anytime you guys have like a, what am I supposed to do? Ask yourselves, what would Ani do? <laughs> really, what I, what I, what Yara? Yeah, like what would I do on a live show? I'd stop, analyze, try this, do a little test here, do a little that. So if it helps, I'm happy. So that, that's kind of funny. Okay, you guys are all like talking amongst yourselves. I feel out of this. Yes, WWAD. I know we went, that went around for a while. There's actually a hashtag like that. I need a clubhouse invite if available. Okay, you guys handle the clubhouse invites. Uh, I have some too. Nice. Don't do what I do. I get a bigger hammer. What's that mean, Tom? Yeah, Nancy goes, uh, you know what, Nancy? I'm with you. I am so with you. I have, you know, have no time between Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And I have multiple Facebook pages too. And we have the groups. And I have the Instagram. And now I have two Instagrams. Hey, I have two Instagrams and now I have TikTok. Oh my God, D, D, you always have the most cutest idea ideas. Uh, D says we need little Ani dolls that says the saying. It's kind of like the little button you push. You know, what is that? The staples one that hits, you hit the button. That was easy. Mine would be no pushy pushy. Drop it. <laughs> just zhuzh it. 
<laughs> oh god. Good. You guys are taking care of the invites. Would would that be fun, you guys? Would you like me to start a a a, a, a like I'd announce it. You'd announce when you go so that you can get people. I hate when people just go on Clubhouse randomly and you miss it. Would you guys be interested if I did a quick little clubhouse? You could be sitting at home in your pajamas and we all could be chit chatting. So that would be fun. I think so. Drop it like you stole it. Ooh, that's a good one, Tom. Yeah, because it's not hot. So it doesn't really work with the jewel tool, but you want to say it, you know, but drop it like you stole it. That's a good one. Wowza gazowza, right, Linda? Oh my God. I say that a lot. Yes, absolutely. Please start a clubhouse group. Okay. I will do that because you know what's been happening. Yes, I will announce it. So, you know, you this is what's been happening. Since I'm a part of some of the jewelry groups, like there's this one professional jewelry group, they on a Sunday morning decided to make me one of the admin speakers. And I'm like, I've never met these people in my life, but a lot of people know me through the jewel tool or they've met me at like a jewelry JCK show and they wanted me to be on the panel of experts. I'm like, Oh, great. So I had to do that. And that was just a random, um, but they all, everyone needs, you know, it's good. It's a good discussion group. People pounce off ideas with one another. Um, so I do listen to clubhouse and what I like about clubhouse is you can, turn like your phone like it's on right now oh, is my son's face there how did i keep getting out of this picture we are both in this picture vonik how did this happen why am I someone keeps messing with my phone so you can turn your phone like off and still hear clubhouse talking um so just so you know that's what one thing i love about clubhouse oh yeah i kind of got a little messed up here it's okay yara we'll fix it yara you want to do the drawing Yaro, would be nice if you did it. No? Well, fine. You don't want to be a part of our celebration. I love this necklace. How cute does it look? I love it with a little beaded. Curled my hair today, Yaro, for you, Yaro's birthday. Come on, birthday boy, pick the name, Tom says. I love you, Tom. Okay, so Yaro says, I'll pick one, and he picks one. Where'd she go? Oh, no. Okay. Yes, Diana Schnitzka, that's Hachik's group. I thought it was strange on a Sunday. Diana, so you know about that group. Yes, Hachi. So Hachi is Armenian. Newsflash, a lot of Armenians are jewelers. A lot. If you come to LA, they're all Armenian. Um, yes, so I don't know. Were you, were you listening that day when he made me an admin? And I was like, okay. Um, so yes, it's Hachi's group. How funny that you said that, Diana. Why you're on it, Diana? Diana. The, didn't the shell come out nice? So we drilled a hole, Bonnie, earlier. And it didn't break. Yay. So I just put a little pinch meal on it. And look at this. I'm sporting a new trend. That's right. Everyone's going to walk around with green muscle necklaces now. That's <laughs> thank you, Bonnie. Okay. Beans is waiting. Auntie Annie. Oh, thank you, Nicole. Shit. Okay. Yaro, this is for you. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Sorry. It's okay. Beans is heard enough. Okay. So listen, let's go ahead and put this close to my um, spine. Okay. So here we go. Listen, ready, guys? You guys, listen. Hi, Yaro. Hi, Yaro. Happy birthday. I love you so much. And I'm going to make you, and I'm gonna make you a card when I'm done. And love you. I love you, Yaro. Happy birthday. No, that's sweet. <laughs> You are the sweetest little girl, I swear. Thank you very much. Yaro is like blushing right now. You have to just come and say a hi to her. That is so sweet. Thank you, Beans. Aw, right? The sweetest, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to do it and Yaro will come in. The, so let's do this. So let's do the first one, baby.
Yeah, right here. Okay, here, guys. Here it goes, guys. This is the one. Yeah, I'm doing one and he's doing the other. He wants to do one only. I told him to do both. He's a birthday boy, but he didn't want to listen. Okay, well, can you do a full shot so people can see that? Yeah. Okay, here, guys. Here it goes, guys. I'm going in. Is it one? Yeah. Who is it? Who is it? Mm, I see Nancy. Okay, hold on. Nancy, please stay. Congratulations, Nancy. Oh, Nancy, uh, Kristen says, can you send us your email address or your info? Okay, so y'all are going to do the next one. Congratulations. Let me put her name here. And then, Yara, go ahead, do the next one. Come on. I'm with you. Nothing. Oh, wait, you got to spin. Because I pushed the other button. Number three. There you go. Spin. Spin the beautiful wheel. I love you, Kristen. I can't wait till when you get older. Where's Nancy? Nancy, you there? I did ask for you to be around. Oh, there she is! So excited! Yay, Nancy! Congratulations! Glenda says, "Birthday boy." Okay, close your eyes, Yarrow. I'll close your eyes. Yeah. Okay. Pick, 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 pick a good one, Yarrow. Everyone is good. I don't know. I, I I always say a little prayer when I pick it. I'm like, I don't know what to pick. You pick. Here it is. Now I get to read it. Who is this? Don. Oh, Don Prince Hannah. Congratulations. You just, you and Nancy both won a $25 Jewel Tool gift card. Price. Don, what did I say? Price. Price. Prince. prince. She's a princess. Price. Congratulations, Don. Thank you very much for tuning in. I know you're watching because I just saw a comment earlier. Oh, someone's calling me. Oh, Ali does calling. Okay. Well, thank you, Bean. I'm still doing a live. Love Bye. You, Can I call you later? Okay, Bye. I always answer my kids' calls. You never know. You know. So, oh, so funny. Yesterday, Francesca calls me and goes, were you really doing a live and answered the call? And I said, yes, Francisca. I was wondering what that was about. So that was funny. This is cute. And yes, Wendy, Yarrow is real person. Really. He loves to say, oh, Nancy, uh, you know, Nancy, you can, if you don't mind sharing your email address, you can just type it here or send me a personal message. Oh, the best is email accounts at jeweltool.com and Kristen will get it. That would be the answer. Don't don't send no messages. I'll get lost on, on Facebook. I try to catch, I try to keep up you guys with all the Facebook messages. I do, I do my best. Somehow those little weasels just slip right through. Yep. But uh, yeah, perfect. Hi, Laverl. Hello, Laverl. Okay, Beans just threw herself dramatically on the couch saying, Yara, wave to me. Oh, Yara did say he loves you, Beans. Oh, my God, how cute. That is so adorable. Yes, congratulations to everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching today. You guys are just like the best. Um, and congratulations to our winners. I'm so excited. Um, oh, everyone's still saying happy birthday. Y'all can see all your messages, you guys. Yeah. So great. All right, guys, I'm going to go celebrate a birthday and I will see you guys here on Tuesday. Have a fabulous weekend. Have fun. Do what you want to do. Do what makes you happy. Uh, can't see you. I'm leaving. Happy Pentecost days, everyone. Okay. The Pentecost day. Happy Pentecost day to you too. 
like we used to say, Yarrow is a hunk. Lol. Yarrow's a little cutie patootie, isn't he? He's a cutie. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aw, I'm just seeing them all pour in, you guys. Yeah, he, he's a little cute one, I tell you. The keeper. Like, keep that one. He's cute. He deals with all, when I get frustrated, I get mad at him. <laughs> and he handles it. <laughs> Yes, we will. Bye, Don. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Have a fabulous weekend. Thank you for all the amazing well wishes and birthday wishes for Yarrow. You guys are awesome. And how awesome did this necklace come out, you guys? My green muscle. And we love you, Beans. And Yarrow says he loves you, too. She's over me. She's like, loves Yarrow. I love when she says, I need to send this video to Yarrow. Hugs and love to all. Bye, you guys. Take care. God bless you.